most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement having. When someone is ill, they may have to lay down on a sidewalk somewhere. If they're accustomed to that life or that situation in their illness, they may be prepared with their own blankets, their own cushions to do this. When you have narcolepsy, it's very difficult to anticipate what will happen sometimes. If you have a different type of narcolepsy that's rare and unusual, you may get some sort of indication that something's about to occur. When people abuse people's food, when they open packages and put things in it to make things, well, ill, they have proven that they are not trustworthy with food. You see, a person who doesn't want to give a receipt may actually be wanting to steal the dollars at the cash register. You see, a lot of companies don't want to pay taxes on cash, but they'll pay their taxes on credit card receipts. In my life, I put people on somewhat of an automatic pay system where I build them at the beginning of the month and it take care of their investment in my services month after month. It was an easy way to handle my life and their payments. They all seemed to be quite okay with it because everyone agreed with it without fail. They clearly felt the lessons, the education was of value. If they didn't pass an exam, that was on their life, not mine, and what I taught them and how to do it. We always had extra sessions before the test, and I taught them how to prepare for that and mentally be aware of how to handle it under the stress. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of our life, and yesterday I was accused of being everything but who I was by some young boy who likes to walk through the parking lots, solicit people for dollars, and live his life that way. He's been living in the streets three to four years, but alleges that he's got a house now, and he's got a girlfriend now that's hotter than you can believe, and I'm sitting there at 53 going, I don't care. I lost a wife of 20 years. Don't talk to me about your manhood until you're able to be married with a child and providing for everyone. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of our lives. And in my life, I was attacked when I lost my spouse by people in a biological family. That attack destroyed my legal records, my medical records, my financial records, and everything, and they did it all under the guise of violating federal law. But no one stopped them because police officers don't care until it's them. Now, if I speak the truth of God, I would say none of them have God in them at all. Because at no time did Jesus Christ say, you are going to lord over my child. At no time should a sibling feel they have rights to someone when they are previously or already married, have their own children, and are not in that person's life at all. When I hit back, it's because people try to lie, steal, and cheat my personal possessions that the Lord above all provided to me throughout my lifetime, through my own earnings, my own revenue, my own income of what I chose to purchase for my life, my spouse, my child, my business, and everything I do in my soul to produce a life for me and them. You see, we have to decide who we are today, not at all. But if you're going to claim that you are a child of God, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Wiccan, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're Hindi, whether you're whatever, and believe in a God, then you better first remember the number one commandment. You shall have no God before me. And that means you will not lord over someone's life. You will not lie, steal, and cheat them out of the property that the Lord above provides to their life. 